Michael Grinder here. I know I'm known for my work in classroom management. I want to talk about looking at classroom management differently. Let's call school what it is. It's a schoolhouse of relationships. Look at Robert Mazzano's work. If you want to increase test scores, you've got to have relationships in your classroom. But what he did was his research showed that it is when the teacher is managing that we find out what the relationships are. So if we manage effectively, we keep the relationships so that the test scores go up. So let's call management what it is. It's a schoolhouse of relationships. We have a trilogy of relationships. The first part is how to establish relationships. It's called the cat in the dog house. How to reach those hard to reach students. In that work, we talk about two major concepts. One is called nine lives. Each of the letters of nine and lives indicate how do you survive? And then we have what's called catnip. Catnip is really the art. How do you not just have a relationship or survival? How do you inspire those cat students? After you have established the relationships with a cat in a doghouse, then go to Envoy. E-N-V-O-Y has four capital letters, and they stand for Educational Nonverbal Yardsticks. It's how to preserve the relationships that you have when managing. It centers around four phases of a lesson and 31 skills. And then the ultimate advanced level is called how to utilize those relationships. And that's found in our book called A Healthy Classroom. It goes into group dynamics. What's going on between the teacher, the individual, and the class as a whole? How do we transfer our relationships our trust level with individuals and the class as a whole so that the class and the individual have that same trusting relationship. Learning and in particular thinking will only occur when you have a safe atmosphere in which failure, trying, trying again is acceptable. We finish this clip by looking at an overall summary of the trilogy of relationships we will be using our triangle. In the top corner, we have the letter T representing the teacher. Bottom left is a letter I for the individual. And on the far right is the letter C for the class as a whole. The relationship between the teacher and the individual, that is a cat in the doghouse. Envoy has four phases of a lesson. The first three phases are between the teacher and the class. The fourth phase is back to the teacher with the individual student. And then finally, a healthy classroom is when the individual corner of the triangle and the class corner of the triangle trust and support each other. This schoolhouse of relationships provides you an overview of where all three of our programs fit. Now you can choose the one that is appropriate for your professional development. Michael Grinder here. Thanks for being a lifelong learner.